is a KX Storm Team severe weather alert. And good morning, I'm meteorologist Amber Wheeler along with meteorologist Dave Holder and our chief Tom Schrader. We're all covering this line of thunderstorms, severe thunderstorms that started early uh, in the afternoon and has been just moving really just slowly across the West. They have picked up in a little speed here, which is some good news when it comes to the potential for flash flooding. But I do want to go down the line uh, briefly here for you. Uh, a severe thunderstorm moving through uh, Sherwood, heading right towards Mohal. Mohal, you're seeing some rain right now. You'll get the brunt of it here very soon. Uh, also in Minot. Minot, you have a severe thunderstorm heading in your direction. Now keep in mind that these storms have been packing up punch 70 mile per hour wind heavy downpours they do have the ability to have half dollar size hail although we have not been getting verification on the hail uh, and you can see when these warnings are going to continue until to about 2 30. so let's head down the line here basically uh, if anyone's traveling down highway 83 it's it's kind of tough at this hour with some torrential downpours there's max you can see here another cell moving through coal harbor a lightning show certainly uh, has been uh, the, the theme for tonight. We head down this line uh, towards Wilton and it looks like as we get down towards the south, these storms around the Bismarck area have been losing a little steam. They were incredibly strong back towards New Salem. We do have uh, damage reports in New Salem from some of these storms. I mean, again, gusts over 70 or around 70, certainly possible. These are moving at about 45 miles per hour, so much faster than what we were at. And actually, I'm gonna go back to Bismarck and if I can get my director, Nate, to pop up the, uh, the, the KX cam in Bismarck, you can see what I mean, this lightning show uh, just lighting up the sky. This is where the storm is heading into Bismarck. This is facing west. So all of this heading towards the capital city. And uh, again, this storm not packing as much of a punch. Let's go back to the radar here, uh, Nate. And you can see here heading down the line. It's just a line of storms all the way down towards Fort Yates and into South Dakota. Not as severe in the south. I do anticipate these to, uh, to end here pretty soon. We'll be here all night and into the morning. Stay tuned to KX News and KXNet.com. This is a KX Storm Team severe weather alert. Leading local weather forecast for where you live on KX News. Cash. People are going out and they're buying things and they're revving up the economy. But they're running up prices. But this is until supply catches up to demand. With travelers suddenly on the move again,